Hi guys, Rob here again, and uh, I'm about to do that little bit of uh, uh, turning of the acrylic. You'll recognise that. That's a pen blank, and uh, we're going to cut it in half and put and chuck it up and see how we go. And with a little bit of luck, this will become this. Alright, so what we're going to endeavour to do here is now to, um, to cup it out and uh, because we're only held over here um, and not very deeply we've got to be very very careful of, um, of our cuts. So shallow, take our time and uh, yeah, use our uh, tool as the uh, a screwdriver and let's see how we go I'll give you a, a look inside the, uh, the little cup at the end. That's quite a, a good job of, uh, of cleaning that out. And just a little bit of light sandpaper, and uh, that's the cup.
before we go any further um, and cut the ring off, um, we'll just sand up the cup and um, using a little bit of uh, probably 400 we'll start off with and um, and then we'll move back through the micro mesh to bring up a lovely color up there so okay we'll use a bit of uh, start off with a bit of 400 and uh, I've got a tray of water over here but what I might do save the bed see it a little bit better too just doing the uh, the final in the micro mesh on this section um, this is about 12,000 grit. Should be about it. It's got a quite a lovely gleam to it. Okay, so we need to finish that off before we can uh, release the ring. Um, as you would know, the same thing applies whether you're doing a full-size goblet in timber or whatever. It's just to finish off those parts um, before we release them. Now, I had this jammed up in, in the tailstock before. Um, I won't put it back there because this is all polished now. Um, so we just have to make sure that um, we are very careful and also not to go too fast because being acrylic it heats up and I've uh, on, a, on another piece I was trying to do an earring um, a month or so ago and I was getting down quite um, quite narrow it was going quite well and it was heating up and then it went it I turned the lathe off and it, it drooped over <laughs> and and bent so um, make sure you try and keep the heat out of it just take light cuts give it a little rest take light cuts etc so um, uh, we'll, we'll release the ring, um, hopefully, and uh, continue on. go. They're saying the classics, I'm free, I'm free. just had another brilliant idea uh, the next screwdriver I make 
I think I'll make a, a, it will be a square end and I'll bevel the point to give me a, a, a narrow skew for this fine, fine work. Now this is the area where we need just to be very careful about how much cut we take and not to warm up the, um, the material too much. Goblet on the stem normally would probably be a bit narrower than this, that, but I'm not going to press my luck. I like that, I think that that's, that looks quite nice, so just try and use it as a scraper to, just to clean those lines off before we get to the sandpapering stage. No, no I'm quite happy with that, so... Okay, so there's our captive ring, so that gives us uh, plenty of room to, we'll sand all that down now, before we cut it off. And uh, I'll show you that uh, when it's done. Just doing the final uh, 12,000 grit, after working our way right from 400, 600 and then all the micro mesh uh, grits to uh, put that little polish on it and uh, I will finish with a uh, uh, a plastic polish
Okay, that looks quite impressive as it is. So uh, I'll just um, use a little bit of um, polish. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm using a bit of uh, Brasso. Um, uh, gives it a brilliant shine, we're told. I've been told this works very well on it, so I'll give it a try. And you can see that, but that's uh, really taken to that just that next level of brilliant shine. Terrific, very happy with that. Okay. Okay, I've part this up with another uh, homemade uh, tool of mine, which is just a, um, I think it was a, a paint knife, but it's fairly stiff, uh, fairly stiff, so um, uh, yes, yeah, just took the, the edge off it to use it as a very thin parting tool. And here we are, one little goblet. It's amazing what you can do um, if you try. I have no earthly idea what good it is, apart from maybe I can put a little ring in the bottom and attach it to a key ring or something similar, but it's a, certainly a little talking point and um, I'm very pleased how that came out. And so, uh, yeah, guys, for goodness sake, Get an old screwdriver and uh, you'll be able to do stuff like this too. Have a practice. Good luck with it. This is Rob from Oz Workshop saying thank you very much. Bye.